Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Malsan, and I hope you are all doing well. Um, it's been such a long time since we uh, last talked, but um, <laughs> it's uh, been a really great, great summer. Um, I have been um, quite busy myself. Um, I've been doing some stuff here at home. Um, I've been, uh, my goodness, I've been, uh, spending time with family, I've been spending time with my friends, um, I've been, uh, just, you know, um, staying safe and staying healthy, and, um, I hope you have been too. Um, so, um, I miss you all, and, um, uh, I hope you are doing well. Um, so, um, for this video is for my remote students, my students who are home. Um, what I am going to give you is kind of just a brief video of uh, what has been um, going on this week at school and, uh, well, at the school building, what the other student, the students have been learning. And, um, what I want you to do at home uh, this week. So the topic we have been talking about is uh, in first and second grade is, wait, are we really reviewing this again? Uh, reviewing quarter, eighth notes, strong, and weak beats. Um, so yes, seriously, we are going back to the start, back when it all began two years ago. Back when I looked a little bit like this. Yeah. What? You don't believe me? You don't think I actually look like this? With this kind of look? And looking at Albert Einstein like this? Hmm. Well, I think it's possible. I think it is indeed possible. And, uh, yeah. I think um, I did actually have that hair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you. I did actually have a wig on at that time. And that was when I was on a cruise ship with my family member. Um, we stopped at a wax museum. And uh, that is um, just a, a wax figure of uh, Albert Einstein. So that was a lot of fun. And... Uh, um, I'm going to actually see that family member um, uh, tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, so we started off reviewing the quarter note. Now the quarter note, it's one beat, right? It looks like a lowercase d. Remember we learned that? And it's filled in though. So we referred to it as... Um, we, we say that it's one beat. Whoop, this picture's all over the place. There we go, that's better. We refer to it as something that we used to refer to it as something that's not music related. Okay? Hmm. First graders, do you remember what that was? Oh yeah. Hmm. We used to refer to it as our heartbeat, right? So, the quarter note is worth one beat. We clap it once. That's it. That's it. All right? So, if we had this quarter note, where would we place it? We'd have to put it somewhere. Because if we didn't, it would be all over the place like this. Messy, 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 messy. Uh-uh. No, no. Music doesn't work like that. Music has to be... <sighs> just has to be pretty. It has to be organized. So, we have to put it on something we call the staff. Right? It's one line like this. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? And then we have these. Bar lines. They tell us that this is one measure, right? Measure. So we have one, two, three, four beats. Look at the what that bigger staff is called later, much later. Okay. Um, but we didn't learn just one rhythm in kindergarten. Or even in first grade, right? No. We learned others. We learned about eighth notes. The next one we learned after for, after the quarter note was eighth notes. We learned that it takes two of these little guys, or I mean, look more like this, right? We learned that two eighth notes. In fact, you know what? I really should get rid of that picture. Here. There we go. I should have that button that says that was easy. It takes two eighth notes to make one beat. Right? Or, you know, what, may, what might sound like a quarter note. Two eighth notes equals one quarter note or one beat. And we clap it like one and. So if you want to do that at home to practice, one and. Kind of like half of a pizza plus another half of a pizza makes a whole pizza. Or half of a slice of a pizza plus another half of a slice of pizza makes a whole pizza. Mm. I'm hungry just thinking about it right now. I could go for a slice of pizza. But wait. We learned another rhythm after all that, too. We learned the quarter rest. Like its neighbor, the quarter note, it's worth one beat of silence. So it doesn't make a sound, but we still have to count it. We still have to say that it exists. We have to say that, hey, guys, it's there, right? So we usually do this in class, right? Or we usually make this sound when we're at home practicing. We usually go, we usually, so if we had one, two, and, that would be our quarter rest. But we'd still count it as three. We just wouldn't make any sound and then go, Four for our last beat if we wanted to use a quarter note, right? You can place a quarter rest anywhere on the staff. So, that was kind of a very, very, very quick review. Whew. I mean, that was pretty, very, pretty quick. Now, here is what I'd like you to do for this week while you are home. Okay? Are you ready? And this is going to be due to me next Friday. I just want you to kind of give me, um, like one sentence on how you did practicing this. So here you go. This is called the Rhythm Randomizer. Big word, randomizer, okay? So you, you might need some help at home with your mom and dad to spell this, okay? Um, it's called Rhythm Randomizer, so that's R-H-Y-T-H-M-R-A-N D O M I Z E R dot C O M. 
Now, what it wants you to worry about, actually, you know what? I don't want you to touch the buttons. What I want you to do is I want you to practice the rhythms at home. So what you're going to do is you are going to clap these rhythms. Okay? So for this one, this one would be one, two, and four. Then that line means that's a bar line. So it means on to the new on to the next one. Then we've got a rest. Two three four right then you're gonna click okay it just came up with another one one two and three and one two three and four if I click it again it's going to come up with something different. Three. Oops, I clapped there. I made no mistake. Two and. Okay, so I want you to try and do as many as you can. Now, do I want you to spend forever? doing this? No! I want your parents to set a timer at home, okay? I want you to see how many you can do in, let's say, two minutes, okay? How many of these can you successfully get done in two minutes? All right? It's weak. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, please uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, have a great weekend, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.